watch this. Yes, welcome to a review. We're reviewing stuff on this channel now, uh, Poseidon. We're reviewing Resident Evil. Welcome to Raccoon City. Uh, disclaimer, I'm a big Resident Evil fan, so obviously my expectations uh, might be a little different than the regular moviegoer. However, I think the verdict is pretty unanimous, even with people that aren't big Resident Evil fans. We're gonna, Poseidon, did you like the movie, first off? Hold on, let me adjust my screen here real quick. Yeah. Uh, look, action-wise, the movie was all right. Okay. So I could so I could look at you. This is a bit weird. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, the uh, action wise, the movie was all right, but story wise, it didn't make any sense. Well, what do you mean story wise? Because look, he, it didn't make any sense. There was a lot of plot holes. You're saying? Yeah, and so they changed some stuff that just I was like. So again, uh, not about continuity. Just as a look, the stuff they changed didn't make any sense. So for example, Leon Kennedy or Leon S. Kennedy, uh, they race swapped him. Is that it? They made him uh, Mexican. Yeah. In, he was a different guy. He's not this blonde guy, light-haired guy. They made him Hispaniol. They made it, and they asked at one point, "What does the S stand for?" Stupid. It stands for Sanchez, evidently. Uh, so it was weird that they took the, a scene with Jill Valentine. It's weird that they did the race swapping thing. Yeah. But I'll live with it if it's a good movie. The problem is, it felt small. It felt like the thirty-seven million dollar budget wasn't spent properly. The beginning was very slow, and then the last third of the movie just fucking. It's like they rushed the shit out of it. Yeah, they sped everything up like crazy. The CGI wasn't that good. Yeah, but the CGI in like every movie is like meh. There was a lot of weirdness in that. It wasn't a good film. Yeah. It felt also like so Resident Evil, the especially two when they go into the um the lab area, like you play the games, right? Yeah, it's like a crazy high tech lab. In this one, when they're supposed to be in the lab area, they go down. It's more like we went into some guy's garage. Yeah, like it's a garage. It's not. A high tech laboratory. Yeah. So a lot of it didn't. The, the 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 twist they took the. So why change? So they were willing to change certain aspects of it, but not others. So if you're willing to change stuff, why don't you change stuff for the better? Yeah. You get it. Why change stuff just to change stuff, and then other stuff that should be changed? Like I can't change it because this is the original story. But you didn't respect the original story in in the first third of the movie. Yeah. So it's just weird. I didn't uh, I didn't think it was a good movie. I was bothered by it. There was not enough. There's not enough Ada Wong. Ada Wong only shows up after the credits. Yeah. Just to remind you that it's Ada Wong, she'll say, I'm Ada. Ada Wong. Just in case. Like she's a 007 agent, bro. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Just in, that's how she said it. Just in case you thought it was someone else. So it wasn't It wasn't what I thought it would be. Yeah. I, I was very excited for this movie. I love Resident Evil. They got the costumes right. Uh, the costumes look pretty funny, but it looked more like a cosplay costume. It didn't look. Yeah, it, it looked. It looked like they were they were cosplaying it a bit. Yeah, it looked like they were cosplaying it a bit. And I know, like the the guy who played Wesker, I, I know he's Robbie's friend. They do uh, Umbrella Academy together. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm not shitting on him. He did the best he could with what he had. Mm. Uh, I think he should have had a different role. He didn't really look like a Wesker, but I guess because he's good enough, he's a good actor. Yeah. So just in case it was a sequel. They wanted to prepare someone that they could keep reusing. That would be good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get that. Um, it was just fucking, it felt shitty. It felt like a fan film online. It felt like an internet movie. Yeah. Yeah, I felt the same way about it. Um, but again, they had some uh, nice jump scares though. They had some, oh, uh, yeah. some of the horror part was done very well. Yeah. Yes. They had some good jump scares. And then also, remember, what's her name? Um, Lisa Taylor. The what the fuck's her name? The 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 goblin looking chick that was in Resident Evil One with the fucked up faces that oh, she had like yeah, different yeah, skin yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They went full retard on that one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like she's creepy in Resident Evil One. Yeah. Right? But in the in the game. But in the movie she was more like um sloth from the Goonies. Yeah. Friend? <laughs> friend. That's what she said. She said friend, remember? Yeah. yeah I she remember. went full sloth from the Goonies. Like, what are you fucking doing, man? There, there's got to be more terror. She's wearing other people's skin as yeah. a fucking face. That's terrifying. You can't have that. And then she's like, friend. Especially since she started off terrifying. Yeah, when the they movie. first introduce her, yeah. it's pretty fucking creepy. Exactly. Terrifying, yeah. So why would you ruin that aspect of, of how she is and make it goofy-like? It felt goofy in some aspects. It felt the, You know what the movie felt like, especially after the halfway point? It felt rushed. I don't know if it was the script that was rushed or if it was the production, mm. but there was a lot of rushness in it. That's why it felt like instead of being in a high-tech laboratory, they were in someone's garage. Yeah. It's like, like uh, let's just film this anywhere, basically. So it felt like they were really rushed, and $37 million I don't think was well spent. No. Nah. I feel like for $37 million, you could have done better. Yeah, and, for sure. Because it made the movie, the movie felt small. 
the movie kept f- it felt fake. Yeah. You get it? it fe- like uh, the police station supposed to be this massive place, and I like that they recreated the 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 like secretary area, the reception areas yeah, yeah. from the original one. So you feel like all, oh, but it looked it clearly looked phony. But they recreate that. But then all the hallways are like super. They're supposed to be bigger. They're all small. Like people are walking through them. It's like sorry, mm, I gotta get it. Right. You know, it's it yeah. it felt like they just did it. Let's just do it in this random hallway. It didn't feel big like the video game. Yeah, and it didn't even feel big, big like the setting you're trying to portray. Yes, it 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 felt off. There was a lot of offness, and it's not a lot to say about the actors. Like the actors tried their best with the material they had. They had some. Uh, they had some good actors. Uh, that's some very good actors. That's what yeah. I'm saying. And even the the race swapping thing, like uh, what's his name, the guy who played um, Leon. Yeah. Why didn't you? Why didn't you just make him play Carlos, which is the other the mercenary from Resident Evil Three? He would have made. Uh, he had the hair. He would have made a good Carlos. And they made Leon a bitch. So yeah. Leon S. Kennedy's kind of. He's one of the heroes. So he's a rookie. But he's like, you know, one of these all American, um, he's a rookie cop, but he, you know, he loves justice and he wants to do well and he helps people. But in the movie, he's some lazy guy who falls asleep. He fell asleep at a restaurant. Yeah. How do you fall asleep at a I sh- I shouldn't ask that question because I have fallen asleep in a restaurant. Yeah, you have. <laughs> I was in New York, yeah. yeah. Fell asleep. At a bar, actually. Yeah. But yeah, he fell asleep at a restaurant while his shift just just before starting his shift. And when he wakes up, he also wakes up late. So he already overslept. Yeah. And then he goes to a restaurant to grab a bite and a cup of coffee before he heads in for the night shift. And he falls asleep at a, at a diner. And then people are messing with him at the diner. Yeah. And he's a, he, and, and they're just yelling at him like, what the fuck are you doing, stupid? Like, he's just a bitch. Yeah, but yeah. that's not the Leon Kennedy. That They, they took way too many um, liberties yeah. for the dumbest reasons. Had they done the race swap, but it was still like that. All American, real Leon, you wouldn't have noticed Leon? really. I don't think you would have noticed. You would have brushed off uh, very early, yeah. That and I wouldn't have minded. You know what? I mean? Even yeah, for I wouldn't people have cared. Who, yeah. You know, okay, but at least they got who the character is. Yeah, correct. You know, but they changed it all up. Exactly, and it felt kind of racist. They, they they make him Mexican, but he's lazy and he's falling asleep. I was like, what are they trying to do here? I, like I think it, they went so woke. They yeah, they came go back around yeah. racism. Yeah, <laughs> so like uh, uh, Ryan Long uh, and Danny Polchuk, yeah, a uh, woke racist. So there was that stuff that I didn't like. I just felt like it wasn't made strong. But the zombies, they got correct. When the yeah. zombies are full flown, full fledged zombies, they're Resident Evil zombies. Yeah, they look fucked up. They're 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 making the sounds. They're yelling. They're popping out of nowhere. That was made very well. That was done great. I, I appreciated all that work that went into that. Yeah. What would you say was even though you didn't, uh, and I, I myself didn't appreciate it as much. What would you say was your favorite scene from it? Scene. Yeah. Oh, that's, uh, I don't know if I had a favorite scene. I kind of liked that opening, not the opening of the movie, but the first shot that you get when Leon is at the reception area of the police station. Yeah. Even though it looked fake, I loved re-seeing the police station reception with the typewriter and all that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Like the nostalgia factor was was grandiose for me. So I like, I think I like that shot. Okay. I like that shot. It felt phony. It clearly wasn't a real... F- but it felt uh, just because of just because of the nostalgia. nostalgia. I like that shot. Yeah, you, me. I like the um, you know when the they're in the mansion. Yeah, and it's dark, and you only see uh, the flashes of the gun. The flashes of the gun. Great, great scene. That those were nice scenes, yeah. and you know after with uh, the knife and the lighter and everything. Yeah, that was I. I like that a lot. That was cool. It made you feel like you know how in the video game sometimes you're like freaking out, you're like stressing. Yeah, it made you feel like yeah, I was all, stressed like, out. What's yeah. next? You know. Yeah, like so. I like that. I, I'm with you on that. I think that was probably the best action scene in the yeah. in the movie, and it had some good. The action wasn't bad. Where they fucked up again? That's why I felt rushed. Was that last scene with the rocket launcher? Yeah, that didn't make any fucking sense. That actually kind of pissed me off. Like I was like, I was ready to accept it. Okay, whatever. But then that last scene kind of pissed me off because he uses a rocket launcher, which he just finds randomly. Exactly. Um, next to everyone in a, in a small closed train on a monster. And all the people that are at touching distance from the monster, no one's affected. The monster just gets thrown out of the train. It's a rocket launcher. It explodes. Yeah. But no one else is harmed. It, it just felt so stupid. Yeah, exactly. Everyone else would have died in that train. Yeah. It felt so dumb. And a lot of people noticed it because I saw the reactions in the theater that it felt off, which sucks because I could tell that the person that wrote the script played Resident Evil, played the originals. Mm-hmm. 
because there was a lot of references, uh, the Jill Sandwich part, there was a lot of references. So clearly loved the source material. But I think, I don't know, the script could have used another revision. Yeah. They should have come to me. I would, uh, especially the second half of the script. God damn right. And another thing, you, they shouldn't have rushed both Resident Evil 1 and 2 in a movie like this because they omitted some of the best characters. So Mr. X, who chases you oh. in Resident Evil 2, or Nemesis, who chases you in 3, but uh, this was mostly based on 1 and 2 anyway. What, Mr. X wasn't there. Now, for a horror movie, which is what they were trying to make, Mr. X would have been a great villain to add because now you have the extra tension of while you're trying to escape, while you're trying to find uh, clues or whatever, you have this fucking Michael Myers, Freddy, uh, not Freddy, but Michael Myers and uh, Jason mixture yeah. character chasing you, can break through walls. Um, it would have added an extra layer of tension and horror to the film. And they missed that opportunity. What I think should have been done, they should have reduced the cast. It should have been based on the first one. It should have been Resident Evil 1 based on the mansion. Make, make it a better visual movie because you would have had to pay less cast to make it just the crew that's going to the mansion, right? And then have a sequel later. Instead of trying to mix one movie that goes over two storylines. Yeah. Because it would have been cool to see this is what happens uh, during this one night in September on the mansion. And then the second movie, you're like, during that same night, this is what's happening at the police station. And you have little stuff that, you know, oh, yeah, I remember that from the first movie. That's what happened, that, right? Yeah, that yeah, would have yeah. been better, and they would have been able to spread the money better. Yes. Instead, they rushed it. They put a lot of, like, uh, ideas into one. And I think in the end, they realized, like, oh, shit, this is running long. Let's just end it. Yeah. Because it was really rushed. Yeah. Yeah. No, I agree. They should have they should have done made it a two part film. I think it would have been better. Two part or just two different movies. Like see if the mansion one works, and it would have because if you spent all the time in the mansion, yeah, Lisa Trevor, I think was her name. What the goblin or whatever the fuck the the sloth, the Goonies character, because that's all it became in the end. It became a yeah. Goonies character. Friend, <laughs> like how you fucked friend, and Leon. They made him such a bitch. Yeah, at some point, fucking. Which would have never happened in in uh, the video game. Cause Some nerd LARPer hacker yeah. who was in jail stole Leon's gun. Yeah, basically. Leon's such a bitch. But the zombies, we got to give credit where the credit is due. The zombies were phenomenal. Yeah. And the acting was... All the actors were great actors. Uh, they were all fantastic actors. Yeah. I liked the acting in it. Yeah, the acting was great. The uh, zombies were amazing. That's the plus you're going to get. Nostalgia factor... A lot of the visuals and the colors they use and the suits they use were very cosplay-esque. It was taken, like let's say, from the PlayStation version of the uh, original two games. So that'll make it fun for you to see. But it definitely feels low budget. It does not feel like a Hollywood production at all, even though fucking Sony should have given more money to play with. Um, so those are kind of negatives. But as a horror movie, there's a lot of good moments, horror moments, and there are a lot of good action moments. It does fall flat in a lot of places, and it feels like they're definitely not going to give it a sequel. I don't think this is going to make its money back. I hope it does. Just yeah. so Resident Evil could. But I feel like they took a great concept, which is Resident Evil. And they they missed the mark. They had a good cast. Some people were miscast, but they had actors that were great. Uh, they had a great base, which is the Resident Evil lore. And they fucked it up. But I felt the excitement. I'm not saying... I think the writer uh, really likes Resident Evil mm -hmm. and wanted to make something true. And I think maybe with a bigger budget... Or a different director, I don't know. They could have done a lot better. Yeah, that's my two cents. So, uh, should we give it a rating? This movie? Yeah, fuck it, let's do it. All right, what's your? What do we give it on ten? On five? What do you want? On ten. Our ratings are on ten on this review thing. Okay. So, what does Poseidon give it on ten? <sighs> I'll go with a five point five. Okay, you were generous. Yeah, I was very generous. Yeah, uh, I'm gonna go with a four. Okay. Yeah, I'll go with a four. I was gonna go with a three originally. But I'm respecting the actors who gave whatever the fuck they could. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, official rating, my rating, 4 on 10 for the new Resident Evil Welcome to Raccoon City. So watch or don't watch it. At least you know what to expect.
my skin. This whole system's advocated by sin. We're selling plastic.